We are starting the T-Mobile Bianchi career mode and guys, I can't remember being so excited to record a video into the final kilometer and a half. I think I've gone too early slightly, but Riggs Arbel up the roads, trying to take it in the sprint, but Michael Morkow is beaten and Riggs Arbel takes the win. As you see them, riders scattered all over this climb. One and a half K to go. Gonna go right now with Rich. Haven't been able to get in anyone's wheel. Can we sprint past these guys? Christian is coming and he's gonna deny us. Oh boy, Christian takes the win. Rich gets second. Into the final kilometer. Let's go, Rick Zabel going for the line versus Florian Seneschal. It's really close. Really, really close in the end. Do we take it? Yes, we do. You know we do. Rick Zabel is on insane form right now. Into the final kilometer. Let's try and sprint with Schoenberger right now as well. With Marcus Wilsauer. Rue to our right. Wilsauer looking good. Rue is coming very, very late. It's a close finish. But Marcus Wilsauer takes it in France. Rich leading out. Can we take this one in a sprint? Zabel going to try and go early. Zabel leads from the front. Here comes Ackerman. Ackerman versus Zabel. It's going to be Pascal Ackerman on this occasion. Zabel trying to come through versus Ackerman. Zabel versus Pascal Ackerman and Rick Zabel comes out on top. Zabel in the wheel of Pascal Ackerman into the final kilometer. Zabel tries to come round. It's 1v1. Zabel versus Pascal Ackerman. Tide going to the line. Who's going to take it? Rick Zabel finally wins a national championship for T-Mobile Bianchi. Can he come to the front? Can we put in a little attack over the top? What a stage. What a moment. This is a beautiful win on a beautiful stage here in Portugal. Versus Almeida, versus Vlasov. I think Vlasov has us. No, he doesn't. Gino Marda takes his second stage win in a row. Vlasov second. He is about to win the Volta at Portugal. What a ride. Moscon needs to go to 95. We'll sit on Sagan's wheel. Actually, we'll try and come through into the final kilometer. This is pretty nice here. Moscon trying to go for the win. We're going to sprint. Sagan doesn't have it here. Sagan doesn't have it. And Gianni Moscon is going to win Strada Bianca. You love to see it. What's up, guys? Joe here. Welcome back to my channel. And today, we are back with Season 3 of T-Mobile Bianchi. Obviously, we have the face cam right now. Bit of a change for me. Hopefully, it adds to the videos. Rick Zabel going for the line. Can he beat Caleb Ewan today? Very close. Ewan versus Rick Zabel. But Rick Zabel gets us off to a winning start. I don't think we're going to win after winning last year as Benut tries to make a move. Here comes Moscon catching Yves Lampert. Here comes Moscon into the finish. What is going on? Gianni Moscon is the king of Strada Bianca because he is going to win two years in a row. Gianni Moscon with Alessandro Covey. And you know what? We're going to try Alessandro Covey making his bid for Milano San Remo here. He attacks away. Covey has one and a half K to go. Is he going to hold on here? Covey going for the line here at San Remo. Here comes Van Aert, Alaphilippe. Quieto and everyone else. Can we hold on? It's going to be so close to the line. But Alessandro Covey wins Milano San Remo and we take our first monument. Here we go. Rutsch off everyone's wheel into the final kilometre. Van Aert is going to get caught. Florian Seneschal is going to just hold on ahead of Jonas Rutsch. Oh, it's heartbreak. Chicone will be the first to cross the line for us and we destroy everyone else. Here they come then. It will be Cavagna leading them across the finish here to Corny Quickstep. I don't believe it. It's heartbreaking. He is going to win at the Giro d'Italia. What a win by Lenny Kemna sprinting to the line. Alaphilippe second, Landa third. Kemna still has one and a half K to go and it's going to be minutes right now at the Giro. Fabro is now done. Let's launch it right here. Alaphilippe group and he has cracked finally the pink jersey. The Maglia Rosa is done. Or even Alex Vlasov. Let's sprint up the roads. Miguel Angel Lopez wins the stage. Vlasov will get third ahead of Kemner. We drop Mikhail Lander though. Very happy about that. We drop Pino. Gagan Hart is pedaling heavily and we're going to kick away from the Maglia Rosa with Kemna. How much time can we take on these guys? I think we're going to claim the Maglia Rosa right now, you know. 
Lenny Kamner can celebrate what a stage that is at the Giro. Unbelievable stuff, Lenny Kamner. But the German is going to win the Giro d'Italia. We win our first Grand Tour. What a win. Two minutes down for Kemna. We win the Giro d'Italia. Stefan Biska into the finish right now. Let's go. Stefan Biska going for the stage. Pogaccia on his wheel. Biska trying to hold him off. Oh my. Oh my. Tade Pogaccia steals it. That is heartbreaking. Leonard Kemna going for the stage win. Can he grab a stage win at the Tour de France? You bet he can. Lenny Kemner wins here in stage 15 of the Tour. But it's a good finish here by Lenny Kemner. Up to 80, 99 across the line. 1 minute 55. This could be close. Egan Bernal versus Lenny. Egan Bernal wins the Tour de France. Oh my, what a ride. We win by over 40 seconds. Giulio Ciccone takes a stage win at La Vuelta Espana to hold on to the red jersey. I think we've taken uh, the bonus. No, 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 no. That cannot be happening. That cannot be happening. And Garrett Thomas is going to win it in the most unsporting of ways. Thomas is done. You can see Giacone really made a great effort of coming back. Oh, I'm gutted. I cannot believe it. So Schmid finally getting dropped. Sam Bennett is literally just holding on over the top. Or is he? Or is he? And Sam Bennett is gone right at the final opportunity we had. We're going to have to go right now with Nizzolo. Can we catch them? Here is Bennett though. This is what we didn't want. Nizzolo versus Sam Bennett. And Sam Bennett is just going to beat Giacomo Nizzolo today. But here comes Pippo to the line right now. 99 to the finish and Ghana does take the best time. So Pippo Ghana is sat on the back as we enter the velodrome. Four and a half K to go. Pippo Ghana on the wheel of Matthew Vanderpool into the kilometer. Let's try and get the jump on these guys with Ghana. There goes Sagan though. And we're not going to be able to win Roubaix this year. Wout van Aert takes Roubaix. People still following Vincenzo Nibali. Can we come to the left and try one more move with the Shark? And we can. And now it's only Herman Pernsteiner who can follow. Ciccone is here right at the front with Kemna. 1k to go. Let's watch very carefully for Herman Pernsteiner. Hopefully we haven't pulled him to victory. What a stage this is. Here goes Nibali. Final kilometre. Trying to win at the Giro d'Italia. No. 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 Please. Come on, Vincenzo. Come on, Vincenzo. It's so close. Do we take it? I don't know. Let's go. Come on, Vincenzo Nibali wins on the Rocarasso.